This video provides a few examples for solving write and interpret functions within the Delta Math online system. Here's our first example. Scarlett has 14 gallons of gas in her car at the beginning of the trip. Every hour Scarlett drives, she uses 2.5 gallons of gas. Answer questions below regarding the relationship between the gallons of gas remaining in the tank and the total hours driven. So time here is going to be our independent quantity and uh, the number of gallons left in the tank is going to be our dependent quantity. It depends on the, the amount of time the car has been operating. So the independent variable x represents number of hours driven and the dependent variable is the gallons of gas remaining because the gallons of gas remaining depends on the number of hours driven. So now this is a function relating that the variable is n of x equals what? So we want us to write the, the function equation here. So we know we're using 2.5 uh, gallons of gas per hour, but we start with 14. So it's going to be 14 minus 2.5x. So you just multiply the number of hours by the 2.5, and you subtract that from 14. That should give us... Um, how much gas we have left. So N of 5 equals, well, 5 times 2.5 is 12.5. So isn't that going to be 1.5? Meaning 5 hours driven will result in 1.5 gallons left in the tank. Now, there's a lot of places we can fall down. So the nice thing on the delta math here, if we make a mistake here somewhere, it's going to let us know before we have to submit our final answer. So we're gonna say yes, and we got the check mark on this one, so we are good. Here's our next example. Gabriella was offered a job after college earning a salary of $50,000. She will get a raise of $4,000 after each year working for the company. Answer the questions regarding the relationship between salary and the number of years working at the company. All right, so our independent quantity, the x-axis is gonna be our time in years. And our dependent quantity is going to be our salary that we earn per year. So let's see. The independent quantity X represents the number of years worked. There's the time. And the dependent variable is salary because the salary depends on the experience, right? The number of years you worked. So now write a function relating the variables. Uh, C of X. So our annual salary is going to be... $4,000 times X, number of years that you worked, plus your original $50,000. So you could also write this as $50,000 plus $4,000X. It doesn't matter the order. Um, so C of 10, that means you worked for 10 years. 10 years, 10 times 4,000 is 40,000. On top of your 50,000 means you're up to 90 thousand dollars per year meaning 10 years after being hired her salary will be ninety thousand dollars per year all right let's see if we got this right say yes we got the check mark we got it good let's look at one more example angel is driving along a highway at a speed of 50 miles per hour Answer the question regarding the relationship between distance and time. So our independent quantity is going to be time in hours. Our dependent quantity is going to be the distance traveled in miles. All right, so let's take a look at this. Independent quantity X represents, uh, which one's time? Uh, the number of hours of driving. And the dependent quantity is number of miles traveled. Because the number of miles traveled depends on how long you've been driving. All right. The longer you, dri you drive, the further you go. So a function relating the variables is h of x equals what? Well, x is number of hours, and we're going to go 50 miles per hour, so that's going to be 50x. So h of 5 would be, you'd substitute 5 for x, 50 times 5 is 250. H of 5 is 250, meaning after five hours of driving, Angel has traveled 250 miles. All right, 
submit it. And there you go. And again, if you make a little mistake, it gives you a warning before it gives you the answer. And if you make a mistake again, then you can check here and it gives you the correct information. So that's all there is to it.